Hello, everyone. I'm Ari Povich. Welcome to the primetime return of one of the most controversial game shows in the history of television. Tonight, two contestants will step into soundproof booths and battle for the opportunity to win the most money ever awarded on television. There is no limit as to how much you can win. In fact, a returning champion can literally take home millions and millions of dollars. So, let's get started and make television history with tonight's return of 21. Objective 21 is to answer a series of questions and to score 21 points as soon as you can. Now, the producers have chosen our first two players. So, John Kramer, who will be our very first contestant on the return of 21? Maury, our first contestant is Jenny Fernandez, a teacher originally from Alexandria, Virginia. Nice to see you. Welcome to 21. Good. So what do you teach? I teach Spanish in high school in Memphis, Tennessee. There are 2,000 kids uh, watching me tonight, so I hope I do them proud. Do you teach all 2,000 of them? Not all 2,000, but they're, uh, I just know them from being the track coach and other ways, so hopefully they're all watching. So everybody in Memphis is tuned to everybody you tonight. Everybody in Memphis. And you know what this means in terms of money. It is big money. John, who is Jenny going to play against? Jenny's challenger is Roy Rankin, originally from Park Ridge, Illinois. He's a supervisor at a large Chicago-based phone company. I mean, this is serious poundage over here. <laughs> what a... You did play football. Yes, I did. I played semi-pro football for a team called the Lake County Vikings, which is a, a town north of Chicago. I played for them for six years on both offensive and defensive line. <laughs> How about Jenny? <laughs> How about Jenny over here against him? You know what the game is all about. I do. It is for big money. We congratulate you both for being here. Why don't you shake hands, go to your isolation booths, and we will start our first game of 21. <laughs> going to give each of you a category. Now, in that category, it contains 11 multiple choice questions with point values ranging from one, that's the easiest point value, to 11, which is the hardest. You're going to choose the point value based on how well you think you know the category. You get a question right, we're going to add those points to your score. You get it wrong, and you will get a strike. Like in baseball, three strikes, and you're out of the game. Each of you will have one opportunity during the game to ask for a second chance if you need help on a question. And we'll talk more about that later when it comes up. This first game of 21 is worth $100,000. Now, each player will wear headphones so that neither of them can hear anything going on with their opponent, nor can they see into our studio audience because of the way the lights hit the glass of the studio. So, let's play 21 now. As a result, as a result of our coin toss backstage that was held in front of our producers, we are going to start with Jenny. Here is the first round category, Jenny. The object is to get to 21 as fast as you can. Top 10 TV. Top 10 TV. How many points do you want to play for? I think I'll start off by playing for seven points. A seven point top 10 TV question on the TV show. Everybody Loves Raymond. What actress plays Ray's mother? Is it A, Carol Burnett, B, Debbie Reynolds, C, Susan Sullivan, D, Doris Roberts? Could you repeat the choices, please? A, Carol Burnett, B, Debbie Reynolds, C, Susan Sullivan, D, Doris Roberts? I believe the answer is D. Doris Roberts? Yes. You are correct oh, for great. seven Thank points. You. Roy, 
Yes, Moy. The first category we're going to go into is top 10 TV. How many points do you want to play for? The object is to get to 21 as fast as you can. It's just like a horse race. Top 10 TV, I'll wager, I'll go for six points. A six point top 10 TV question. Here it is. What former NFL quarterback joined the Monday night football broadcasting team in 1998? A, Joe Theismann. B, Boomer Esiason. C, Terry Bradshaw. Well, it'd be kind of ironic if I didn't get a football question. Well, I guess so. We all know you played semi-pro football. The answer is B, Boomer Esiason. And you are correct for six points. We move to our second round. Jenny, you have seven points. The object is to get to 21 as fast as you can. Here is your second round category, advertising slogans. Advertising slogans. How many points do you want to play for? Well, I had good luck with seven, so let me try that again. You want another seven-point yes, question? Yes, please. That would bring you to 14, mm -hmm. two-thirds of the way there. Yep. This game is being played for $100,000. The slogan, when it rains, it pours, can be found in ads for what product? A, sugar, B, raincoats, C, salt, D, umbrellas. The answer is salt. You are correct. Thank you. And you have seven on top of your seven. You now have 14 points. Two thirds of the way to 21. Thank you. Roy, this is the second round. Here's your category. Advertising slogans. You have six points. I'll go for seven points. Another seven, uh, seven point question. Here it is. The slogan, when it rains, it pours, can be found in ads for what product? A, sugar. B, raincoats. C, salt. D, umbrellas. When it rains, it pours. When it rains, it pours. Is an advertising for, for what product? For salt. That's your answer, salt, and you are correct. Seven points onto your six. You now have 13 points. Jenny, yes. we move now to our third round. You have 14 points. You've gotten two seven-point questions. Here's the next category, names in the news. Well, I've got to try for seven to try to make an even 21. And that will get you to 21. Mm -hmm. Names in the news. Okay. Here's your seven-point question. Actress Kathra Zeta-Jones recently became engaged to what, to what much older... <laughs> you talk about old people and all of a sudden I stumble. Anyway. Actress Katherine Zeta-Jones recently became engaged to what much older actor? A, Sean Connery. B, Warren Beatty. C, Michael Douglas. D, Jack Nicholson. I'm positive it's Michael Douglas. You are correct, and you have 21 points. Thank you. However, I, I want to caution you, Jen. You have 21 points, and that's, that's what the game's all about. However, your opponent has the capability of also reaching 21 points on this round. Since you're already there, I'm going to leave your booth open. You can hear what goes on okay. as we complete this round. Thank you. Roy. Yes, Maury. You have 13 points. The category is names in the news. Names in the news. Names in the news. You have 13 points. You need eight for 21. I'll try six, please. You're going to try six? Yes. Unfortunately, your opponent has 21 points, Roy. So you cannot reach 21 points with a six-point question. And so that means that Jenny has reached <laughs> 21, and she has just won. One. Roy, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. I know. You, you were trying to play cautiously, I know, and I understand that. We don't want anyone to leave 21 empty-handed. We have a hunt, we have a hunt, we have 10 100 dollars bills for you here. Here's a thousand dollars. Have a good time. Thank you very you much. Go home. Thank you so much. Wow. 
What do you think? I can't believe it. Huh? I can't believe I got here and I can't believe I won. And not only that, you can't, that we can't take it away from it's, you. It's amazing. I'm so but thankful. But you know what happens now? You have the ability to go on to our bonus round, what we call Perfect 21. You can win another $210,000 if you want to answer all the questions. I'm gonna give you a series of six true-false questions. Each question has a point value. One is the first point, uh, one point the first question, two points the second, three points the third, and so on. If you add them all up, one through six, they reach 21. Each point is worth $10,000. You can stop at any time, keep that money, or continue. If you continue and miss one question, you lose all the money that you have acquired here in the Perfect 21 round. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. The category is World Records for one point and $10,000. The longest running musical in the history of Broadway is Cats, true or false? It's true. That is correct. You have $10,000. Do you want to keep it? I want to keep it. Do you want to continue? Yes. You're risking the $10,000, Jenny. Yes. For two points and $20,000 more, making it $30,000. According to Guinness World Records 2000, the most mentioned man on the internet is Bill Gates. True or false? I think that's false. That is false. It's Bill Clinton. <laughs> you have $30,000. Do you want to continue? I want to continue. You're going to continue? Yes. You can lose it on this next question. I've got to continue. According to Guinness World Records 2000, the world's largest Amex card purchase was of a $2.5 million painting. True or false? I don't know, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that's true. That is true. <laughs> you have won $60,000. That's a guess. That's our first guess on 21. And it was good for $30,000. You have $60,000 for four points and $40,000 more. That'll bring you to $100,000. Do you want to continue? No. No. Well, Don't my... let them play with your money. I... This is your money. Well, since I really didn't know the last one and they're getting harder, I probably should stop here. So I'm going to stop. You're going to stop. Very good. Very good, Jenny. You have won $100,000 in our main game. $60,000 in Perfect 21. You have won $160,000. And you are our first 21 champion. Thank you. And now, John, who's going to have a chance to be Jenny's next challenger? Our next challenger could be Todd Giles, originally from Rochester, New York. Or it might be Stephanie Threlkeld, originally from San Antonio, Texas. It might be David Jones, originally from Bremerton, Washington. And while we take our commercial break, the members of our studio audience are going to decide who you will play next. And they are going to vote for our next challenger. So audience, please lock in your votes now. And we'll be right back because Jenny, it's her second game at $100,000 a game. We double the money. She's going to play 21 for $200 thousand dollars champion Jenny she has won one hundred and sixty thousand dollars is about to play another game with a brand new challenger are you still stunned blink for me twice <laughs> I am stunned actually John let's see who our audience chose no more the votes are in our audience has decided David Jones <laughs> be a little nervous but you got to get out of the chair in order to play the game fair enough fair enough <laughs> now David uh, here's an interesting point about David a former Navy rescue diver crewman rescue flight crewman yes sir very good that's that's terrific do you know what this game is all about oh yes you know this woman is hundred and sixty thousand dollars richer oh yes. she was ten minutes ago yes why don't you shake hands go into your isolation chambers and we'll start to play 21 <laughs> Remember, each player will wear headphones so that neither of them can hear anything going on with their opponent, nor can they see into our studio audience because of the way the lights hit the glass of that isolation chamber. Remember, 
The object of the game is to get to 21 as fast as you can. Questions are rated from 1 to 11. One's the easiest, 11's the hardest. Get the question right, we add the points to your score. Get it wrong, you get a strike. Three strikes and you're out of the game. Remember, if you get into trouble, you can always use your second chance. Now, since our champion is already familiar with this, we will start with our new challenger. And David, yes. here is your category. Household products. How many points do you want to play for? The object is to get to 21 as fast as you can. I think for household products, I'm going to start with a nine. That much, a nine point question. In 1979, what company introduced the Dust Buster? Was it A, Westinghouse, B, Hoover, C, Black & Decker, D, Krupp? Maury, I believe the answer is C, Black and & Decker. And you are correct for nine points, David. <laughs> Jenny. Yes? You won $160,000. You're playing this game for $200,000. The category is household products. How much do you want to play for? <clears throat> I better start with seven. A seven-point question. Yes, please. First marketed for home use in 1970, what type of product was the Adonis? Was it A, a home gym, B, a whirlpool bath, C, a waterbed, D, a cappuccino maker? Could you give me the, the uh, choices again, please? Quickly. A, a home gym, B, whirlpool bath, C, waterbed, D, cappuccino maker. Um, I need an answer, uh, I'm Jenny. sorry, the, um, I, I'll choose D. The cappuccino maker? Yes. No, it was B, the whirlpool bath. Yeah, I don't know. That's one strike against you, three strikes, and you're out of the game. We move on to our second round category. David, here it is, James Bond. James Bond. James Bond. Bond. Um, Maury, let me have an eight-point question. An eight-point James Bond question. Yes, please. That will give you 17 points. You're playing for $100,000. Which of these actors never appeared on TV or in the movies as James Bond? A, Barry Nelson. B, David Niven. C, George Lazenby. D, James Coburn. Maury, that would be James Coburn. And you are correct. You have 17 points, David. Very good. That was tough. Jenny, our second category is James Bond. How many points do you want to play for? You're our defending champion. You're playing for $200,000. To be honest, I don't know a lot about James Bond, so I better play for seven. A seven-point James Bond question. You like those sevens. Oh, well. <laughs> what James Bond villain used a steel-brimmed bowler hat as a deadly weapon? A, Odd Job. B, Jaws. C, Ernst Stavro Blofeld. D, Scaramanga. Could I use my second chance? You want to use your second chance now. You know what that entails. What happens is if you get this question correct with your second chance, you do get in the seven points. However, if you miss this question, you have two strikes. You already have one strike. That means you lose the game. So you know the risks involved. Are you ready for your second chance? And here he comes, your <laughs> husband, Julius. Here's Julius. Now, wait a minute. If he, if he doesn't help you get this right, I do not want some serious <laughs> pillow talk tonight. <laughs> he knows more than I do, so I'm going to go with his judgment. OK. Quickly, the question, what James Bond villain used a steel-brimmed bowler hat as a deadly weapon? A, Odd Job. B, Jaws. C, Ernst Stavro Blofeld. D, Scaramanga. C. Ernst Stavro Blofeld. Are you ready for that? 
I do, I, whatever he says. You have your own mind. You know that, Jenny. Are you going with okay. that answer? You're going with that answer? Whatever he says, yes. That is incorrect, and oh. I'm sorry, Jenny. I'm so sorry. Well, you're our first champion anyway. Thank you. And you've won $160,000, and that means <laughs> David. David Jones, you are our winner. Congratulations. Yes. You've won $160,000. Congratulations, David. Thank you. That's <laughs> terrific. Marvelous. Good job. Sorry, Jenny. I didn't Jenny, know any of those questions. you were terrific. Thank you. You won that one big game. I know. And part of that big 21, a uh, uh, perfect 21 bonus round. And I want to tell you something, $160,000, it looks real good, doesn't it? Absolutely. I'm so grateful. Thank yeah. you. Do you think you have any idea what it looks like, $160,000? I have no idea, but I'm sure I'll find out soon. You're going to find out right this second. We are going to show it to you right now. You're going to take home your money. Here it is. You take that back. 100,000. And 50,000. And 10 makes it 60,000. Jenny, congratulations to you. I know you'll spend it well. Thank you very much for playing 21. Appreciate it. All right. Now to this business. You're a smiling man. Yes. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you can win $210,000 more in our Perfect 21 bonus round. And you're going to have that chance when we come back as David continues as our champion on 21. <laughs> Congratulations. $100,000 is terrific. And, and there's a lot more ahead of you. Got to get it. Got to get it. You ready to play perf a Perfect 21? Yes, let's, let's do There is the possibility of winning $210,000. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you a series of six questions. Each question has a point value. First question is worth one point. Second, two points. Third, third three points. Each point is worth $10,000. If you add them up one to six, they reach 21. However, you can stop, take the money at any time, or if you continue and miss one question, you lose everything that you have in this perfect 21 round, not the 100,000. Here is the category, the Olympics for one point and $10,000. The third place finisher in an Olympic contest wins a silver medal, true or false? False. That's correct, it's the bronze for two points and $20,000. The Fosbury flop is a technique used by Olympic high jumpers, true or false? That's true. That is true, you have $30,000. You wanna continue? I'd like to continue. Sure you don't wanna stop? No, I can't stop you. You have $30,000, three points and $30,000 more. Over the years, Carl Lewis has won more medals in the Summer Olympics than any other U.S. athlete, true or false? That's false. That is false. It's a three-way tie with Mark Spitz, Matt Biondi, and Carl Osborne. You have $60,000. Do you want to continue? Do you want... Let's You're going to go on? Let's do it. Don't let them influence you. For four points at $40,000, that'll make it $100,000. Double what you've won already. Germany called itself the unified team at the 1992 Summer Games following the fall of the Berlin Wall. True or false? I believe that's true. That is false. <laughs> hey, it's the Soviets that did that in 1992. Nothing ventured, you, nothing gained. Well, you, you could have gained $60,000, David. But, but I got another game. Yes, you do have another game. And not only that, you have another game. And you're going to play it because it's your second game for $200,000. And John, who will have the chance to be David's next challenger? Your next challenger will be one of these three players. Jared Eisenstadt, an attorney originally from Hicksville, New York. Or Todd Giles, originally from Rochester, New York. Or Stephanie Threlkeld, originally from San Antonio, Texas. We'll find out. While we take our commercial break, the members of our studio audience will select from these choices and vote for our next challenger. Audience, would you please lock in your votes now? Because when we come back, David will play 21 for $200,000. I know. 
You won't admit it to me, but I know you are second-guessing yourself right now about that $60,000. No, no, I'd already made up my mind that, first of all, if I got on stage, it was, I got him to pay my little girl's ticket out here. Now, wait, a, that the now, wait a minute. $100,000. You can bring all kinds of girls out here on it. No, 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 no. Get over, get over. I, know. I got another game, though. You got another I game? I got another game coming. And you know what it's going to be worth to you? 200000 Yes, it is. And now, David is going to play for $200,000 against a brand new challenger. John, let's see who our audience chose. The votes are in, David. Your next challenger is Stephanie Threlkeld. Hey, Stephanie, how are you? This is you. This is our champion, David. Stephanie is originally from San Antonio. Now, this is interesting. She went nude parasailing. Well, not on purpose. We were standing on the dock, and I said, when you feel the boat pull, we want you to run and jump off the dock, and you'll lift up. Suddenly, the parasail filled up, and they popped up to however many hundred feet you are, and my bathing suit was around my knees. And <laughs> You're a mother of four. David, how many children do you have? Three altogether. Why don't you shake hands, go into your soundproof booths, and we're going to play 21. And we'll start now with our new challenger, Stephanie. Stephanie, you know the object. You know the object. Get the 21. It's like a horse race. Singers. singers. How many points do you want to play for with the category of singers? I'll play for eight points. An eight-point singer question. Which one of these Grammy-winning singers signed her first record deal when she was only 11 years old? A, Charlotte Church. B, Leanne Rimes. C, Britney Spears. D, Debbie Gibson. For eight points. I'm going to say B. Leanne Rhymes. And you are correct. You yes. have eight points. <laughs> David. Yes, Maurice. Our first category is singers. You're playing this game for $200,000. This is your second game. We double the $100,000. How many points do you want to play for? I think I better start with a seven in singers. A seven in singers. Here it is. What singer won a 1997 Grammy for Record of the Year for her song, Sonny Came Home? Was it A, Tori Amos, B, Sean Colvin, C, Fiona Apple, D, Sheryl Crow? Can I hear the choices again? A, Tori Amos, B, Sean Colvin, C, Fiona Apple, D, Sheryl Crow? I'm going to go with A. You're going with A, Tori Amos? No, it's Sean Colvin. She was the one who won a 1997 Grammy for Record of the Year. Stephanie. Yes. The second round category is who sells more? Who sells more? Who sells more? How much do you want to play for? How many points? A seven. Another uh, a seven point question. You had eight before. That would get you 15 points, well on your way to 21. Okay. On average, who sells more women's magazines? A, Better Homes and Gardens. B, Red Book. C, Cosmopolitan. D, Ladies Home Journal. I'm going to say, because I think they have more than one, Better Homes and Gardens, A. You are correct. You have 15 <laughs> Our champion, David, you have zero points, and you also have one strike. Here's the next category. Who sells more? How much do you want to play for? Give me a nine. A nine-point question. According to Fortune magazine, in 1998, what company sold more computers and office equipment in the U.S. than any other? Was it A, Dell Computer, B, Hewlett Packard, C, Xerox? or D, IBM. And what, what was the year again in the, the question? 1998. According to Fortune magazine, what company sold more computers and office equipment in the U.S. than any other? I believe it was Dell. 
That's your answer, Dell? Dell, yes. No, it was IBM, and you have two strikes. It's no problem. We now go to our third round. Stephanie, yes. you have 15 points. All right. You need six for 21. Vacation spots. I think I'll take a six. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you will. That will get you to 21. People who are arriving in Las Vegas by plane land at what airport? A, Stapleton, B, McCarran, C, McCarthy. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm gonna say B, McCarran. And you have 21 points, <laughs> and congratulations, you have won $100,000. <laughs> Congratulations to you, David. I'm so sorry. You had a great first game. I am floored. You're floored? I'm floored. I bet you are. <laughs> David, you've done terrific. I Just get to marvelous. Go home with something. You're going home with $100,000. That's a lot of something. <laughs> and just to make sure you know what it's all about, come right on down here. Because this is what it looks like. One hundred thousand. <laughs> Heavy, huh? Congratulations, James. You've been a great champion. Thank, Thank you very you much for coming. It. Appreciate it. Now then, Stephanie, you have a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> you know what's going to happen now. We have our perfect 21 bonus round. You can win a lot more than a hundred thousand dollars if you're brave enough. And we're going to do that when we come right back after this <laughs> So, you have four children. You told us before, what are their ages? Eight and a half is Robert, Thomas is six, Anna is three, and Joseph is eight months. You know what we're going to do now. I know what we're going to do. The perfect 21 bonus round. If you go for all six true-false questions, you can win $210,000. Each question has a point value. The first question's worth one point, second's worth two points, third three, and so on. You add them one through six, it comes up to 21. That's why we call it Perfect 21. You can stop at any time, keep the money. Or if you continue and have one wrong answer, you lose everything in this Perfect 21 round. Are we ready? Right. Here is the category, the Bible. For one point and ten thousand dollars, the Old Testament has more books than the New Testament. True or false? True. That is correct. The Old has thirty-nine books. The New has twenty-seven books. For two points and twenty thousand dollars more, making it thirty thousand. You want to continue? Want to continue? When she looked back at the destruction of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, Job's wife was turned into a pillar of salt. True or false? True. No. No. It was Lot's wife. Lot's wife. Oh. I wasn't listening. You weren't listening? I wasn't listening, You were right? thinking about the $10,000? I was 000? thinking about the looking over the shoulder thing. Well, let me tell you what you can think about now. You can think about the fact that the next time you play 21 with us in a moment, you're going to be playing for $200,000. So go along with your 100000 John, who has the chance to be Stephanie's next challenge? It might be Mario Mendez, originally from Hawthorne, California. He's a vocational counselor. It might be Todd Giles, originally from Rochester, New York. Or Jared Eisenstadt, originally from Hicksville, New York. Now, while we take our commercial break, the members of our studio audience will select from these choices and vote for our next challenger. You're thinking about the next game? Audience, please lock in your votes now. Because when we come back, Stephanie will play 21 for $200,000. I know, you're still thinking about Sodom and Gomorrah. I am thinking my church is going to just abuse the stew out of me. <laughs> <laughs> for missing that question. For missing that question. All right, we're back with our champion, Stephanie. She's about to play for $200,000. John, who's she going to play against? The results are in. Your challenger is Todd Giles. <laughs> Thanks. 
guy loves TV. Look, big smile, tall man. I'm just glad the audience is letting me up here. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> now then, why don't you shake hands with our champion, Stephanie, because we're about to play 21. <laughs> start with our new challenger. All right, Todd, here's our first category, the Academy Awards. I don't know too much about the Academy Awards, Maury, but I'd like to start hot, so let's go for 10. What event happened in 1981 that caused the Oscar telecast that year to be postponed for 24 hours? Was it A, President Reagan was shot, B, the challenger exploded, C, riots in Los Angeles, D, none of the above? Maury, none of those dates really seem to match up for me, so I'm gonna go... 1981. We need an answer. I'm gonna guess A, the assassination of President Reagan. The attempted assassination. Attempted. He was shot, but lived. Quite a long time he's lived. You are correct, Todd, for 10 points. <laughs> Stephanie. You are our champion. You're playing for $200,000. The Academy Awards, that's our first round category. How many points do you want to play for? I'm going to play for seven. A seven-point Academy Award question. Which one of these actors has not won an Oscar for Best Director? A, Kevin Costner. B, Mel Gibson. C, Robert Duvall. D, Clint Eastwood. I'm going to say Robert Duvall. You are correct for seven points. You have 10 points. Here's our second round category. Gadgets and gizmos. Gadgets and gizmos. I'll go for six points more. A six point question. You have 10, that would give you 16. You have no strikes. A gizmo called a GPS receiver helps pinpoint your location anywhere on the earth using what? A, solar activity, B, sonar, C, satellites. Maury, I believe the answer is C, satellites. You are correct. You have 16 points, Todd. <laughs> Stephanie. Yes. Yeah. You have seven points. You know what you have to do. Here's our second round category, gadgets and gizmos. How many points do you want to play for? I'm going to play for seven points again. A seven point question. That would give you 14. The barcodes that are read by supermarket scanners are also known as what? A, universal product codes. B, price grids. C, laser tags. D, grocery index numbers. A, universal price code, UPC, I believe. UPC is correct. Okay. A, universal product code. Product code, yeah. A. You got, you got that right. We're going to round three. Todd, you have 16 points. The object is to get to 21. How many points do you want to play for? Doing the math, Maury, I think five's the number to go five for. Five is correct. That will get you to 21. After scoring the final goal, Brandy Chastain took off her shirt when her team won the women's championship in what sport? A, basketball, B, hockey, C, soccer. I saw the game, Maury. It was a great game, and it's soccer. You are correct. Todd, you have reached 21 points. But, but Todd, not so fast. Your opponent has the ability to get to 21 as well. Since you're already there, we're going to leave your booth open. You can hear everything that goes on. Stephanie, yes. you have 14 points. This is our third round category. Memorable sports moments. I'm going to play for seven points. A seven point question, and that would get you to 21. And I will tell you that your opponent already has 21 points. Okay. And if you get this correct, you go into a tiebreaker. Okay. If you don't, you lose the game. Last June, after a victory by the Dallas Stars, what sports trophy came to Texas for the first time? Was it A, the America's Cup, B, the Stanley Cup, C, the World Cup, 
D, the Ryder Cup. I'd like to take my second chance. You want a second chance? I want a second chance. Who have you brought here for your helper here? My husband, who I hope knows sports better than I do. You know what happens. You get it right, you tie. All right. You get it wrong, you're out of the game. What's your husband's name? Rob. Hi, Rob. How are you? Just doing fine. All right, quickly. Here's the question. Last June, after a victory by the Dallas Stars, what sports trophy came to Texas for the first time? A, the America's Cup, B, the Stanley Cup, C, the World Cup, D, the Ryder Cup. I think I'd say B, the Stanley Cup. That's kind of what I was thinking. Okay. Is that your that's answer? That's our answer. You're correct. You have 21 points. <laughs> Husband Bob, thank you very much. You have now tied. But unfortunately, you're out of time for tonight. So that's the way it goes. It ends at the hour. I'd like to go on. Join us next Sunday at 8 p.m. 7 Central right here on NBC for the opportunity to see Stephanie and Todd battle it out on a one-question tiebreaker for the chance to win millions on 21. Good night, everyone.